Good evening. I'm Maven of the Eventide. Welcome back to Vampire Playthroughs. And I'm Paul. <laughs> what? Sorry. You know you're not going to give a second chance to do no, that, right? No, I know. I just always forget, like, when the pause when I'm supposed to come in, because sometimes you're like, and I, last time we were doing this and this, and then also by my side is... That's because you haven't done it already, and I have to prompt you. <laughs> I forget things. We've only been doing this for two years. Hi, I'm Paul. Guess and who's got his Christmas gummies back? No, um, not the crinkly package. Um, yeah, mouth noises in the microphone. That's ASMR. just what people want to hear. There go the last of our viewers. Mm -hmm. Wait till I bring out the beef jerky. We are playing a Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Are you serious? Go ahead. Stop crinkling. Why don't you take out several gummies and hold them like in your hand? Well, then I'll be tempted to eat them. If they're here in the bag, then at least I have some hesitancy. And last we left, oh my God. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> last we left, uh, we were halfway through Gala Bazori's mission where we are investigating the murder of the vampire's accountant who is not a vampire in his own home, which is a very fabulous apartment. And we suspect that his daughter is hiding there somewhere in a panic room. Oh, right. And I um, remember how we're like, oh, we found that phone and we need to go back and check his phone because now we know the password is an M shape. No, I believe that was the daughter's phone we found upon further recollection. Because the daughter, he was like, oh, I left a sticky note in your binder or in your planner. And she was like, I already saw it. And it was like very cutesy. And I don't think he talks to his wife that way. His wife is supposed to be away on vacation. So I think the daughter was home. She left her phone there and she ran into the panic room. That's my suspicion. Okay. But we still haven't found his phone. So maybe we can go back to his body and see if we can find his phone down there or something. Is that the guy without a head? Yeah. Yay. And the other question is, is it really him? He had the bullet wound in his thigh. Yeah, uh, they could have shot another person. Yeah, they, they could have set it up. The head's gone. Who knows? So, very mysterious. I mean, he's got fingerprints. Well, they'll figure it out eventually. But for now, we don't know. And I am posing as an FBI agent, and the cops are working with me. And I haven't really had to use many of my powers yet to solve this, which is good because we had zero XP when we started this mission, and we couldn't up any of our stats or feats. So we're kind of going in here as a complete noob oh and the game just went through a giant update so hopefully some of the weird bugginess will be gone oh nice possibly so after the code red was issued hazel everson the prince of boston mobilized all her resources to try to understand the situation and assess the extent of the danger all contact with the individual who issued the alert has been lost so i guess jason moore was the one who issued the alert i can't get my jerky open oh my god you and the bad crinkles okay i'm gonna wait so i can edit this out Oh. No. It's part of our charm. The bag crinkles? Yes. This, this, the bar is really that low. <laughs> um, um. All right. You ready? Leg, leg. Where'd my mouse go? All right. So, we are using our power uh, to see. Oh, I was wondering why it was so dark. The power lets us see where non natural things have been. And uh, we used it to find that there was a ghoul there working there, and we sent her away, which may not have been the best choice, but she's gone, and we don't think she was being honest. But she did give us the file. We needed to find five files, and there's one file missing so that we still have yet to find. Take a closer look at that donut. Yeah, I'm curious about this donut, too. It looks delicious. Nope, no white dots. There's a donut sitting on top of a Bible. What does it mean? Are this, is this his mail? Well, it's Amazon. Hmm, okay. Yeah, those are the muddy foot, the bloody footprints of when he came in. So we need to find the panic room, and I kind of want to find his phone. We were in the kitchen there, and that's where the guy's almost throwing up. Like a, a safe or something that was her birthday. Oh, we already read this notebook. I was wondering if they stuck his phone around here somewhere. Oh wait, what's on the floor? Is that with the is that shell casings or just blood spots? Um, that's the the footprints. The body oh, footprints, yeah. So we already investigated his body, and we didn't find the phone on his body. So I'm guessing that they took it out of his pocket and put it somewhere. Is that Wait, that's it? that's smoking. No, that's his ID. Moore's driver's license. 
Did you hear Caleb talking at all? I didn't mm, hear it. I didn't hear What does this tell us? Is there anything on here that could prove whether it's his body or not? He is a donor. Organ donor. He's five foot nine. I... Mm. Well, his license is expired. I can tell you that much. Why does he have an expired more license? Sense. He is a specialist banker. Jason Moore at quadopates.com. So it's supposed to be a reference to something. See, I, again, I think we're giving this game a lot more, too much credit. Well, but, the phone has to be here somewhere. Is it in this evidence bag? Oh, well, we can't interact with that. Why can't we? It's nothing written on it anyway. Oh, that's his body again. Next dump. So, this is this Hey pocket. now, hey now, hey now. I'm looking for a pocket where the phone might be, but they seem to have already emptied his pockets, so... Like, it's his money in his shoe. Well, maybe if he's not really the real guy, he took his phone with him. Mitt? What is that? Yeah, there's nothing else here. So, can I ask the head cop where his phone is? Sorry, I'm busy. These fish busy are looking at the fish. The I panic- need to interrogate these fish. Is the panic room in the fish tank? Someone said that the panic room might be behind the giant painting of his family that was over here. Mm. But it seems like this is a very open space. Like, I don't think the panic room would be in such an open entryway space. Where is that giant? Well, I mean, it's got to be easily accessible. You can get to in a hurry. Yeah, but you wouldn't have it out here right where the body was. How would she have gotten into oh, it? Oh, look, it the dude's here? a Trekkie. He's got, like, his bat left and everything. <laughs> I would not have recognized that. No, it's not a bat experience beige. Sorry, I'm busy. Stop being so busy. <laughs> where in God's name is forensics? It's really It's it. in the station. Or Why can't exactly I ask you where it? his phone was? Why can't I ask you if I can look at his phone? This is very frustrating. Okay, so his phone has to be around here somewhere. Why would they have given us the code if it wasn't? No dots here? No dots. Someone said they noticed we missed a dot in the loft so we can go back up there and look at that dot that we missed. I said it was to the far right. Well, then we want nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay. Do you see any dots? Could a panic room be behind this fountain thing? What's the point of having a fountain that just sort of dribbles? No, maybe it makes a peaceful sound. Well, here's a. What's that? Uh, the painting up there to your left. Can we? Any dots up there? Because that seems a little bit too blasé for such a fancy place. Wild that's like a, that's like a picture you get at IKEA. Oh, no, no dots. Mm. Well, we went in here first last time, so now that we know more, maybe we can go back in here and glean something different about this place. I really want a house that has something like this. So this. It's where they were chilling. That's his little girl's bunny. I was waxing philosophical. So he There's was... a picture on the ground. I don't think we can interact with it, but it's a kid's picture. No. no just, she was coloring with her crayons. I can't even wax philosophical about the bunny anymore. So if they were in here when the attackers came... But no, he wasn't. He was dressing <clears throat> his wound. Is that a dot? No, that's a knife. It's just reflections. That's not a dot. That's a knife. See, so you've played knife your daughter before. <laughs> ah, nothing. Nothing. Everyone's going to be like, look up, look up, look up. You're being stupid. Wait, it says Costa Rica is this way. Maybe that's where the panic room is. No, I think it's just, you know. Well, because, you know, the code to the panic room is going to be Porto Vida, right? Yeah. No, I mean, sh- sure, yes. I remember everything about what we did last time. I mean, that was and my assumption. And the holidays have had no effect on me whatsoever. I'm going to go out the other way. No, go. Keep, yeah, that way. Yeah, because we went out. That's why we came in. Okay, here we go. The living room with that guy. And there's a giant painting. Salmon. Jason. Proud of his family and his success. Looks like there's a separate dot over the daughter. June, who looks more like Jason than Lydia. Can we look at Lydia? Aha, there it is. Switch attention. Lydia, 
radiant and beaming. Let's do the thing up at the top. Down at the bottom. Uh oh. Whoop, what's that? His MIT class ring. Right where you can't miss it. The same one I saw on the body. Oh. Is it a button I can push? A lot of arms going every which way in this little painting. Well, I guess that's it. Well, let's go back and look at his. the ring on the body, maybe? Now that we've seen that, it's like, hey, wait a minute. There's a difference. Let me look behind it. Or maybe the ring is like, you know, you push it into the painting and it goes click. Oh, that'd be a good thing. Well then, no, then the ring would be missing because the daughter would have used that to open it. Yeah, so I can get... Oh, you're so fast thinking and then quick to, like, discredit what you just thought of. Well, I mean, that's how that's okay. how I'm a detective. Um, so my suspicion was the panic room is in or next to the office that's too small. So I'm going to go up there and look at that office again. And if I can't find anything, then I'm going to look at the loft. Oh God, this place is gaudy. Oh. So that's her office. And here's the room that seems too small. So the entrance is probably in the office. Well, this is like, yeah, the tiny office that he gave his wife because yeah. he doesn't like her. June in Costa Rica. Okay. God, it's really hard to change his focus of attention. Ugh. He's got a really stiff neck. He slept on it weird last night. Well, I get bet if I was using the, um, not the mouse and keyboard, if I was playing with the controller, it'd be easier. What's that square? What square? That square there. It looks like a panel I could push in with my hand. No, it's the pattern. Yeah, but... They're everywhere. There's a pattern for a reason. You, again, are giving this game far too much credit. There's, okay, here is June's <clears throat> phone again. Oh, no. So this must be the wife's phone. June's date of birth yeah, this time. Like... Don't wait up for me tonight, sweetie. As always, we're going to the movies. Maybe we'll meet up we'll get back then. Yeah, or lunch. Oh, wait a post in you... your planner. Did you see it? Yes, but you already told me that yesterday, sweetheart. So. Click the uh, buttons on the bottom. Looks like so there's a voicemail button. This is the mom's phone because it's two Jasons. Right. So mom is the blue and Jason is the gray, right? Yeah, yours is always on the right-hand side. Oh, okay. So Jason is the gray. So this is mom's phone. So why would mom's phone be here? Mom has to be here in the panic room with the daughter. I forgot the reference for the curtains. Can you send it to me? Yes, tomorrow morning. It's gorgeous out, I'm sure. We miss you despite the house and the beach. Yes, despite that. So mm. this was 717. Pick up Lydia. Don't do it from far away like that. I need to calm down. We'll talk about it. Don't do what from far away like that? Oh, he's telling her to pick up the um, phone. Okay. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Come on, pick up. No, Jason. Now I'm thinking I'm going to have to tell June, just like every time. This is the third time since you bailed on us since Christmas, and I can't take it anymore. The house is for the three of us. Not so my mom can watch June there. See you tomorrow. Love you. June is admitted to the French school in Boston. She's jumping all over. Awesome. You didn't come home last night? No, but tonight, yes. I'm looking forward to it. Where are you? It's one in the morning. Lydia, we could talk, but call me. I get it, okay? June cried this morning because you weren't here. What's going on? I don't know what you did, but we don't have to talk about it when you get home if you want. Call me. Hmm. Message from June, September 2nd. Message from... So today's September 3rd, right? I guess. Yeah, I think so. All right, so let's listen to the message from Jason from last week. <sighs> Damn it, Lydia. I can't do it without you. If, if you could just see June, I can't tell anyone. I'm not gonna make it. I need. I'm sorry. I apologize for everything. I should have left. The three of us should have gone, stayed at Pura Vida the way you wanted. I'm so sorry for what they did to you. I'll always love you, Lydia. Forgive me. Forgive me. 
I still think mom became a vampire. And that's why she went away. And she blames Jason for it. Well, that was a good bit of voice acting, though. I like that. Yeah. What did, what did June have to say? Mom! Dad gave me a phone this morning for the first day of school. He surprised me, and I'm coming to see you tonight. Don't tell Abuelita. It'll be a surprise to her. And Dad's coming, too. I can't wait to get there. XOXOXOXO. She says that no out loud. What? <laughs> so maybe it's not September 2nd. It's September something. I remember that much. So he said he's like, he's not going to make it, blah, blah, blah. So I mean, do you think that's maybe after he got like shot in the leg? No, or that was back in August he, that message was from. And that message was from after these texts. And they haven't texted since then, which is weird. Yeah, what day was the voicemail from? Uh, September 2nd? Uh, no, August 28th was his and September 2nd was June's. Oh, okay. And today well, wait, wait, is... wait, 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 he left that message saying, oh, God, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. But then, then that's because the message from June was right after. It's like, hey, dad gave me this new phone. No, that was from three days later or five days later. So remember, the mom was gone for a long time and dad and June were home alone eating pizza. And she's like, I'm so sick of pizza. It makes my tummy hurt. We, that's all we eat anymore. No, I thought the I thought the guy was the absentee one. No, mom's been absent. That's why I was like, oh, she's a vampire. Remember, um, June was like, can we call her? And he was like, no, she won't be awake this early in the day. Mm, go back to the text one more time. I, I, I just want to understand. I want to see um, Tell me. what the difference of what the date is. Where can we read about the date? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. How about you, audience? Gummy. These are peaches. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, let me see those texts once more. All right, scroll down. So last text is August 19th. Um, where are you? She's she's missing. She's missing. And then in June's okay. diary, she was missing. I had missing. it backwards for some reason. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I think um, as some kind of punishment to him for vampire reasons, he, he messed up with the vampire's he became a vampire or they made his wife a vampire's punishment or something or kidnapped her. Maybe the vampires kidnapped her. I don't know. Well, maybe now she mommy's just wanted missing. to be a vampire all along. The blueprints of a house on the west coast of Costa Rica. So that's Por Vida. That's where he's Por like. Vida extension project. We should all go there. The house is for the three of us. But he refused to go and she was mad that he wouldn't go. He had to stay and do his work for his shady vampire bosses. Well, as much as I love family drama, well, I want to solve the case. I'm tired of this apartment. <laughs> okay, there's got to be a button here to open up the panic. Remember how we magically found the button to open up the safe? Where is it? Is it a book we can pull out of the... Shelf. Well, the buttons are usually pretty easy to see. It's got to be somewhere June can reach it. Look at the laptop on the desk. I, I, I swore it was either a reflection or a, or a circle. No, I guess it was just a moat of dust. Why are there no buttons in here? What's the post-it note say? Can you see it? No, it would let me read it if it was something. See, I would much more like the game if it was more like this all the time. Like, it wouldn't handhold you. You know, you've really got to pay attention to the clues. I love that kind of stuff. Can I crouch and crawl under the desk? No, he's much too sophisticated for that. He will not sully his pantsuit. Suit pants? Pantsuit, suit pants. I'm really not seeing any dots in here. All right, so if the panic room is behind this wall, what's on the other side of this wall? No way in here, so maybe whatever is on the other side of this wall has the entrance. <clears throat> Unless it's... Is it one of these paintings? Nah, these are all Ikea pictures. Well, I think she's a photographer, so I think she took these. Well, she's like an architect, but, you know. Why am I so low? <laughs> well, you haven't solved a case in a while, so you're probably pretty depressed. Yeah. 
What is behind this wall? Is that a gong? Oh, they got hornets. So it would so this be... this is where things it, went down. It would be behind this wall, right? What? it? Yeah, that's the wall. This entire bedroom looks like a, like the queue for uh, Space Mountain. Yo, Lydia, thank you so much for the book of Emily Dickinson. The poem so kindly sent me, inspires me daily. Read during golden hour while I'm drinking tea. Feathers are a symbol of hope. I'll have to linger even longer on Mount Royal Park. You must come see me and soon before it gets too cold for you. My snowbird and you fly south for the winter. Got to go. My oolong's almost ready. Give your daughter a kiss for me. Emily, is that her mom? No idea. She's giving Emily Dickinson poems, which are all about death, and people are like, oh, Emily Dickinson like might have been a vampire. Oh, hey, is that his phone? First, I'm going to consult. A cell phone. Locked, of course. <laughs> yeah, make no... Yeah, no, no. Oh, what? Maybe. I was going to say, do the M from middle there. That looks more like an M. Ha! Ha! All right, so here's the other side of that conversation. Did the safe go change again? Yes. Well, that's all going to be the same. To post it on your planner. Did you see us tomorrow morning? It's gorgeous out. I'm sure we miss you. It's one in the morning, Lydia. Yeah, so check the voice. Oh, wait, can you use these arrows over here to go to different conversations? Lydia was killed. It's not pretty. That's Lydia? Well, well. On 823? Oh, we should, we should have done that with the other phone. Oh, no. That's so sad. You know what you have to do. But he called Lydia's phone on 828. So he was just calling her phone because he was sad? I guess. You know what you have to do. We know where to find your daughter. Daryl Underwood, that's his boss. Yeah, check the voicemails. Now we gotta go back and check her phone to see if we can find any. Oh, that's so sad. Message from June and September. So these are all after uh, Lydia died. Dad? Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's for his phone. The man you sent to pick me up from school told me I was going to see mommy, and I'm so happy. And oh no, she got about kidnapped. Yesterday, okay, I'm so happy. Thanks, Dad. You're gonna come join us this time, right? XO, 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 XO. So she got kidnapped on September second. Good evening, Jason. I need you tomorrow night at Nakatomi Plaza. We are getting the family together, and I would like to tell them about our agricultural and food business plan round up the numbers and bring them with you obviously this invitation cannot be refused B we know it's from Beryl Just, yeah. you don't have to like sign your voicemails my cousins didn't show up after all stay home if you haven't left or meet me at Hazel's house if you want call me back and tell me where you are so sad that Lydia's dead Ugh. All right, so let's go back to Lydia's phone and see if there's any more convos on there that might give us the... Oh, you just took it. Okay. Yeah. Phone's better with blood, suspicious item removed. Yeah, that's I... Um, because we didn't want to implicate Jason. Our, our barrel. barrel. Yeah. Where is it? Where am I? Let's go back to Lydia's. Why is... If Lydia was killed days and days ago, why is her phone still have batteries over here? Yeah. Uh, nope, nope, that's the only convo. No, Mark, her husband's Lame. the only person she ever texts. And you said you found June's phone, right? Did we do the same N thing with June's no, phone? No, that's what I thought was June's phone, because hey. it was so, like, cutesy, but it was Lydia's. Well, we're no closer, but at least we know what happened to Lydia. If she died on the t 23rd. That's why he was saying, I'm so sorry, I can't do this if you could just see June. 
But June was still with him until the second. Who kidnapped June? Not the vampires? Were there bad vampires and good vampires? Like, no, who? I think it's just a say he was an embroiled in something. Yeah, but Beryl wasn't involved because um, then Beryl wouldn't be calling him, being like, oh, we're having a family dinner. Never mind. My cousins didn't come over. Obviously, that's code for something, but he wouldn't be talking to him like it's business as usual, right? Jason, Lydia, June, in Costa Rica, I think. <laughs> My neck. No, nothing. <laughs> All right. That's where he changed his clothes after he got shot. What's in this bag? Well, I hope June's not dead. Oh, well, yeah, that was the hope, right? I know we already looked at this, but... Someone tossed a bunch of stuff in this bag in a hurry to leave. Yeah, he got shot. He dressed his wound. He was packing up to leave. Ooh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Watch, maybe? Keys? Sharky. Oh, yeah, so I can go down into the basement because oh, we still we have to do open, that. You can just use his old book. Yeah. So nice that forensics wasn't here yet, and I get to mm. steal all this stuff. Salad oak hangers. He always did love oak. Costa Rican oak. But there's still one file I haven't found yet, and I don't want to be done up here until I'm sure. So, yeah, that's where he was packing everything. So the panic room isn't behind that wall. Is there another wall behind that wall? Mm, maybe the panic room is in Costa Rica. <laughs> yes, June, run all the way to Costa Rica. Well, I mean, there's a sign pointing right towards Costa Rica, so... You know, she knew what direction to go. Okay, I just want to exhaust this so I don't have to come back here. Remember, there were, like, weapons room in the bathroom. Dots. News. We already read all this news. There was a problem. What's, what's Caleb doing? Is he just like pointing at it? It's like, look. Look. Maybe he's just doing this thing. He's like, I can't report being slippery. Yeah. Uh, so oh, wait, the what's all the buttons on the bottom? I don't think we played with those. The either. sugar industry was having problems, and that's cutting into Barrel's thing. So Barrel would be angry lately about the sugar industry having problems. That's a news feed. Ha <laughs> he was a tourist. Your selflessness will bring well, you I mean, closer you to those around you. Beware of this power of attraction for your pro seed. You will have to give up your desire to have everything. Oh. Uh, yeah, these are all Gennaro. Mm. Is, is there a phone in his mirror? Yeah, That's yeah, weird. Time for some soul searching, but don't be too hard on yourself. I don't want to read the horror. I'm just looking to see if anything jumps out. Here's oh, here it is, Scorpio. Your wife is dead and your child is in this panic room. The code is blah, 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 blah. We know the code is Pura Vida. You have to know how to let go. That's your your horoscope, because you're a Scorpio. This is cute, but what's the point? Yeah, this is flavor. Right, Get weather. Up, like, can you hurry up? My arm Thursday, is getting tired. Yeah, today's the fifth. Okay. I knew it was something like that. So today's the fifth. And that's when Beryl was like, never mind, my cousins didn't show up. So I'm assuming the cousins was going to be the whole party that got code redded. So the fact that Beryl called Jason and told him not to go means that Jason wasn't there. But Jason was the one who issued the code red. So maybe it was someone pretending to be him. Hmm. Oh. Star 69? Is that a thing? I don't think so. The number you have dialed is not in service. Have you seen any phone numbers around? Why can... I mean, but you can... There's other phones. Uh, yeah, but phone it numbers. didn't let me call from any other phones. Well, I don't know. Well, at least now we found a phone in a mirror. So if we ever do come across a phone number... Right. We know what to do. Is the panic room in the shower? I'm going to go in the shower. 
uses grape body wash. Just as I suspected. No dots. Okay. Let's go up to the loft, check that dot we missed, and then we will go down to the garage and see if that's the next step. I'm very disappointed that I didn't find the pentagram. The night is young. You are so beautiful. Just get my steps in. So how do we get up the loft? Do you remember? Nope. I think it was in his office, like his office had a loft. Yeah, go down to the left there. I think that's his office and there's another way up. That's the elevator. No, left. No, I think this is his office. Oh. Yeah, he was left. And he said it was down to the right. What did I take? Magnetic key. Ooh, I bet that's oh, going to come a, in useful. No, it's, a, it's like one of those consumables you can use for something. Yeah, but it could be a key to something. Mm. Hmm. I should put some money on that. It was my greatest pleasure before. Oh, Caleb used now to be a cigar like smoker. Well, you're smoking the wrong end, Caleb. That's why. Talk to this guy and ask him about a panic room? Sorry, Agent Smith, but... I'm a little busy right now. Nope, he is tapped out. Wait. Oh, I thought this was security system. I was be like, I can look <laughs> on the security monitors for the panic room. Well, I mean, it did have a dot on it. Can you... hmm. I should put some money. There's on a that. dot on his uh, laptop too. I can't remember if we Live checked these already. Stock prices. I had fun for a while too. At first. When I was alive. Maybe he lost it all. Well, with the sugar industry's going down, he would have. Wait, does this say anything about sugar? Nothing looks like it's tanking. Check his laptop. Just, I can't remember if we sell it, looked at it or not. On his desk. I don't see a dot. I know I saw a dot. Maybe it was just that sort of highlight on his chair I saw. Yeah, those those are tricky. Those will get you. Those will get you every time. Hmm. I should put some money on that. Psh. Yeah, just what you want to do in a murder scene, dude. I was hoping they were going to do the Batman thing where you like you pull the statue and there's a button yeah, there. Yeah, that's what you, I thought. You know, like a, you go down a long pole. Down the pole to the panic room. So he was eating pizza up here. Modern Man Magazine. He was a smoker, too. Do so you think we should feed before we go down there? Um, Might I don't as well, think we have I guess. To. I know, but we have half, half what you call it. Let's wait until we like we know we have to use it because I mean, no, we can. No, once we're down there, I think we're down there. Oh, okay. So, where's this guy, Mister? Oh. Why is this not working? Meet me there. Okay, sure. Okay. You look so delicious. Why is it always so much of a struggle? Jeez. Your hand tat there, Galen. Compass, because you were a seafaring man. I need to rest. Yep, you sure do. Control. I have huh? melancholic resonance. I guess I'm just a good hunter, aren't I? Okay. What's that little? Oh, that means the safe room's been stuck. Yeah, so we can't use it again. Did you look at this before. An auction. Acquisition oh, yeah. of Lot 87. Dejan Siaka. Hmm. A trumpet belonging to Don Ellis. Yeah, we learned about him helping Dejan with his... Yeah. On door. I'm good at doors. 
So those are all the things the ghoul was What's looking at. What's that small at. controlled burn down there? That's what the ghoul was looking at when she was ripping through all his stuff trying to find the thing that she found and then eventually gave to us because we took it from her. Mm. There's still one file missing, and I don't think it's going to be in the parking garage, unless it's in his car. Maybe it's in his car. Let's yeah, go down and check his car. That's the only thing I can think to look at. I just wish we found the daughter. Not too late. Maybe she's in the car. Maybe the car is the safe room. Down we go. Down we go. All these leaves. Oh, so it's just like just. Oh, this is like his garage. He keeps his stuff. What's this? Oh, pinch. Oh no! Back oh, into the kitchen. Yeah. yeah, we already went into the pantry, didn't we? We'll go back out that door and hang a lift. Down towards those big double doors. Oh, it's in there. Laundry room. Laundry. <clears throat> Wet laundry. I'm old. It's been here for several days. Well, his wife got killed on the 28th, and now it's the 5th, so he's probably just been depressed and doing nothing since the 28th. Um, letting his laundry get moldy. Poor guy. And his daughter got kidnapped on the second, I think, unless that was his guy. Yeah, because the guy who picked her up on the second was like, I'm going to take you to see your mommy in Costa Rica. Did they ever teach their kid about stranger danger? Poor guy. All right. Let's get out of the laundry room. Let's see any dots. So I guess she's not in the panic room. But maybe he's in the panic room and that's a fake body out there. Maybe that's what I'm going to find. Oh, I guess it knows where we're going. Private elevator to the parking garage. Negative four. Ooh, look Can you at take the a look at the cards, glowing parking oh, the spaces. Pants. Hey, mister. You can't go into the parking garage. It's a crime scene. Agent Smith, FBI. Oh, hi. Officer Norton. Hey, they didn't tell me you were coming down. Got something? Wyatt saw more leave at 225. Wyatt? The parking attendant. Pot security guard, pot valet. Anyway, a car that belonged to the victim left in a hurry. Or at least he thought it was more, until he found out he got his head cut off. There's skid marks on the ground and uh, signs of a minor accident at the exit. He must have really been in a hurry. But he left his key. What? I, I can't, I guess I can't pick up on it. I'm too <laughs> dumb to pick on, on it. Uh, well, yeah, I'm assuming it was the murderer. Well, I've got a few questions. God. You mentioned skid marks. Yeah, Laundry they're very distinct. Then. They start from his parking space and go all the way to the exit. They clean this place twice a day, so there's no doubt they're fresh. The driver peeled out of here in a hurry. Yes. Where's the witness? Wyatt? He's uh, in the security booth over there. He's super nice. I don't think you'll need to question him again. Well, I'm I'll gonna. Be the judge of that. <laughs> and you said there was an accident near the exit. Yeah, minor one. Broken headlight, paint marks. He must have had a hard time handling it. It's because it wasn't his car. Do we know what kind of car it was? Yeah, we called it in. It's the victim's sports car. Wyatt said there's only the sedan left. That must be what I have the key for. Did you find anything else? No, that's it. Since we're still waiting for forensics, we gotta be careful. But you know how it is, right? Sure do, as an FBI agent. Let me know if you have uh, any other questions. Thanks, man. Super helpful, even though I was too dumb to pick up on it. Is this his sedan? That's a station wagon. Key. Any news, guys? Oh. Still looking. 
Oh, is that the... F yes, I found the file! Yay, Hilda McAndrews. Dear Madam, although she's not directly involved in the world of finance, Hilda McAndrews has a keen instinct for leveraging her assets. Sorry, just in Interesting. Story jerky. Sorry, I'm gonna get a good one. Yeah. Seal up. Ah, continue. She knows exactly what um, she wants and how to get it. Which makes our interactions quite simple. Her business as an art dealer is fairly conventional, though the scope of her dealings is faster than any of my other clients. Ms. McAndrews has made it very clear that she wishes to differentiate her personal acquisitions, which she keeps in her private collection, from the pieces she acquires for investment purposes. On this matter, I admit I am impressed by her knowledge of the field. She very rarely makes transactions at a loss, and when she does, the loss is immediately compensated by a true master stroke. She leaves nothing to chance, which is reassuring for an asset manager, especially when dealing with such large amounts. The rest of her day-to-day -day transactions reflect the usual lifestyle of a person of her rank within your prestigious organization. There isn't much to report in that regard. Ms. McAndrews likes her nice things, and this is reflected in her expenditures. That's because she's a Toreador. They like nice things. With regard to the Rosemont Society, her foundation, Ms. McAndrews prefers to be in charge of every single transaction. There's no question of my putting trusted managers in charge of it. The only leeway I'm given is with regard to the purely financial side of it, which she does not concern herself with. The foundation's activities are entirely focused on art, grants to schools throughout the world, holding conferences and exhibitions in major cultural centers, donations to charitable organizations, residences, competitions. Although it's not well known to the public, the Rosemont Society is a major player in the art world. This naturally requires significant financial power, which is why the Foundation is courting the world's greatest fortunes and companies who seek recognition or just want to burnish their image. There are some quid pro quos in exchange, of course, such as works of art by up-and-coming artists donated for free, or invitations to charity galas that give good press. Recently, even Mr. Beryl Underworld was approached by Ms. McAndrews to stimulate financial contributions to the Foundation. They seem to have set up an organization that deals in art trafficking. I've enclosed the documents needed to confirm these activities. Hilda's planned for everything, even her eventual end. Oh, not tragic. There's one particular issue that requires your attention. Ms. McAndrews has asked me to draw up a sort of will for her. I was surprised by her request in and of itself, and I'm not a lawyer, and I have no experience in drafting this sort of document. And given your longevity, I was under the impression that inheritances were not a concern that preoccupied you. Oh, so he knows he works for vampires. However, this was not the question I want to draw your attention to. Rather, I want you to be aware of the identity of the beneficiary of Mos McAndrews' property. Her belongings are to bequeath to a certain M.M. Louis, whom I do not have the pleasure of having met. That was her fledgling, yeah. who was also, she was in love with, and then M.M. rejected her. But who, it would appear, is relatively little involved in your court. Till now, she's going to be a new primogen, right? It seems to me that there's a risk of having so many assets removed from your circle of influence. Oh, well, I guess Hazel doesn't know this yet. But if Hazel knew this, that's why she would want M.M. to be in the primogen, to keep her in her circle of influence with all those assets. If Miss McAndrews were to pass away, I recommend that utmost vigilance on this matter. Hazel's going to want to know that. Gather reports about the primogen, held McAndrews. Item collected. Yes, we got everything we needed. What else is in here? Anything? Suit bag, perhaps? Born in a barn. Leave the door open. Let's go look at the, like, the accident stuff. Can I close this? Nah, yeah, I'll leave it. Because oh, I have to leave it open. So here's the tracks. Skid it out of here in the guy's sports car. Squee! Then he went to the left. Or, is that a Bugatti? Or is that an Alpha? Supposed well, to be a Merc No. The a front looks like a Bugatti, but it's not. A lot of rich people live here, I guess. Can't even talk to her. Oh, she's really studying this car. That's like that's not even their car. Why are you looking at that car? He's, he's looking for drop clues. All right, who's got the junky pickup truck down here? That doesn't belong. Uh, come back here, I want to talk to you. That's the same person. Do you know if our backup's on the way? This should take a long time. Oh, it is. <laughs> How do you get all the way over here? 
Sure is taking a long time for the game player to complete this investigation. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, there's a fire. Get it, get it. Does that mean that this guy is a ghoul? No, because he's not glowing. How do I get in here? Hello, Mr. Bazori. You must be mistaken. I'm Smith. Agent Smith. Yeah, sure. Do I know you? Everyone knows who you are. That wasn't the question. Is it just me, or are you pals with all the cops around here? Let's just say I'm pretty... intuitive. You know what I mean. In the years you've been hunting us, you've acquired a hell of a reputation among our kind. What kind are you? I didn't know you would come. I'm not looking for any trouble. I, I... I didn't do anything wrong. I... Just who the hell are you? What What's your kind? Me? I, I'm nobody. The name's Wyatt Alvarez. I was embraced five years so ago. So he's a vampire? Mm. A thin blood. Oh, that kind. I spent years hunting them when Quentin King ruled Boston. I guess now I know that. Unfortunately for me, the blood of my sire was already weak. So I can still catch glimpses of the sun, but I don't have actual powers. Hmm. And you have no worth. created you? His name was Victor, but he died last year. Do the kindred know you exist? Yeah, yeah. I followed the rules, but the prince told me he never wanted to see me again, so I try not to make waves. He? Is that the old prince? The previous prince? Must have. I'm hoping someone will notice one day, and I'll be allowed to become a true kindred. Oh. That's not very likely, if you ask me. I wonder how he could do that. I kind of hope it works out for him. No, you're going to be nice to him. That's, that's good. I hope it works out for you. I'm doing what I can. Actually, if you could put a word in with the prince, sure. I'd be eternally grateful. Oh, I could have a I servant. I don't get involved in that kind of thing. Of course, obviously. But... Seeing as how I'm already working for your child, Mr. Underwood, <gasps> I thought that maybe... You work for Beryl? Yes. I also work at a red salon. A couple of hours each day. <gasps> That's for the there, other guy. Exactly. Cleaning, mostly. Hmm. Curious or curious. What are you doing here, then? Uh, I thought it was a pretty cushy gig. It leaves me with a lot of spare time, even while I'm on the job. And it also means I can live at night. Are you involved in what happened up there? Not at all. I swear. I guess vampires I've just got glow. a sweet job here. I'd never risk it. Well, I guess we're doing all these. So what happened? I've got no clue. My shift started at 10 p.m., as usual. The sixth floor tenant left around 11 at midnight. One of Mr. Moore's bodyguards came down to get the car. They were going to a party, apparently. I didn't see them come back. But Beryl told them not then to go to the party. around 2.20 or so, one of Mr. Moore's cars went flying out of here. It hit the wall near the exit. Did you recognize the car? Yeah, it was his sports car. The only one like it here. His sports car. Buy sports car <laughs> brand sports cars. <laughs> Or if I sports cars are holding the wheel. No, it's got tinted windows. I thought it was Mr. Moore at first. But from what happened upstairs, <laughs> I doubt it now. Hey, were you the one who You really think if it was me who did it, I'd be standing around here trying to figure out what happened? Not very smart. What can you tell me about Moore? I saw him a lot. He's the tenant I got to know best because of his working hours. And he was the most generous when it came to maintaining his cars, too. Anything in particular about Mrs. Moore? Yeah, I see her every once in a while. Sometimes I see her with a girl, coming back from vacation. Sure is good they weren't here tonight. Well, girl's kidnapped and mom's dead. What makes you say that? Well... Mrs. Moore's car. I haven't seen it in the garage for weeks, and she's the one who took the girl to school. Mr. Moore told me they were on vacation, 
And he was going to go join him soon. Did you see the bodyguards today? James came by earlier this evening to move Mr. Moore's car. But I haven't seen them since. Why do you need to just move the car? That'll be all for now. Mm. At your service, Mr. Bazori. That sounds important. Where's that glowing thing I saw? Does that just mean it's been touched by him recently, I guess? Perhaps. So he's drinking beer on the job? It could just be root beer. Ah, donuts. Knew it! There's a connection. He's a thin blood. Can we not interact with that bottle? No, I guess it just shows that it? he's touched it. Shows Do thin bloods eat real food? I guess. I no idea. Call James Tuesday. Why would you have to call James on Tuesday? Put ducks to archive. Check the parking oh, better. Uh, watch three camera. Check the parking gear. Warning. Oh yeah, Bucks can you look batteries. at the security footage? Check maybe? level eight. Camera seventeen is not working. Hmm. No, oh, we can't fiddle with it. It's just a prop. This is just color, I guess. It's a kit. It's a massive flashlight. Oh fuck. Why is he swearing behind me? <laughs> like what's he afraid of? <laughs> oh yeah, what's that on the wall? Oh. Did I get the key it's too? It's a loud key. Oh, oh it's his key, car. He needs a key to his car. <laughs> Mind if I take this? Okay, thanks. Oh, maybe his is the dirty pickup truck. Oh, yeah, let's go look at... Oh, that, oh staff. So that's his car. Oh. Weep, weep. Check, check your door. Why were you opening your back door, huh? Why were you opening your trunk? Hmm. Did you steal something? Oh, I hope that's not him that picked up June. Oh, Use key. key. No, June would recognize him. Okay, I'm just hoping it wasn't her in the trunk or something. What is this? What's all the thermoses? Uh, I took his watch. Okay. Uh, that's his blood he drinks, I guess? There's nothing in it. Maybe that's his thin blood. Wait, so we just got a watch and that's it? Well, it's a consumable, right? No, I mean, the, the key card we found was a consumable. So what is this... Gear. Thin bloods, though derided by all kindred, possess extraordinary abilities in many areas. Although their experiments may seem strange. Oh right, um, do you remember that comic book that I reviewed where they're like, we're doing experiments and creating things that give us new powers. Oh, so or even a chance of a success of disciplines. Is, so we get twenty five percent extra if we if there's a tie. They can't focus if we're focusing. That's a big one because yeah, nice. that's always that pretty much just removes any competition. So we don't need any willpower Sweet. restored, but... So that was just a, a bonus, I guess. Yeah. And then we got a bunch of items. It's got big pockets. Yeah. Must. Okay. We found something nifty. But why was he going in his back door and not his front door? Weird. And I can't close this trunk. Can I? Gotta cover your tracks. Zori. Oh, there, we there we go. Should I return his key? <laughs> nope. He's a thin blood. Uh, I'll return to him tomorrow. This will keep him here where I need him. Can we go that So, door? where's the exit where. Oh, the arrows to the lift. The car went. See the tire marks, skin marks. That's where he smashed in the wall. A vehicle ran into the wall. Yes, we know. Where that. have I heard about that before? Um, so can we. Mices! Feeding on that is beneath a kindred. So can I not do it? I won't do that, no. That's because he's fine. a Ventru, and Ventrus do not feed on rats. So why so. were they making such a big deal about the crash up here? I guess just to get me to He said he was having trouble guy. controlling it, so it probably wasn't the guy. It was someone who's unfamiliar with that car. Or it was someone who's scared because he just killed someone and is getting out of here. Mm. Was it one of the bodyguards? The bodyguard that didn't come back? So what's in this door? Hmm. 
fire trucks coming? Probably where they take the trash out or something. Oh. Safe room! Nice. So I need to eat someone. I don't know who I would eat down here, but... Wait, 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 wait. Go back and look at your shadow again, your reflection in that. Yeah. Turn around, face the camera. I swear it's reflecting like the back of his head. Yeah, it's like showing me the same thing we're seeing. Yeah, it looks like he's walking backwards. Weird. Can you yeah, face the camera and then turn around so you can see that from... So turn turn Galeb around. Okay. All right, now put the camera back that way. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they try, they try. <laughs> you messed that up. <laughs> He's, he threw something in the recycling recently. Remember we saw there was something with blood on the trash chute? Maybe. Yeah. But he said he was working for Underwood, so... No. That's impossible. Oh, come on, you're a super strong vampire. Get in there. I have to find a way to open it. <sighs> no. No, it's impossible. A button? I mean, what about all those keys I picked up? I have to find a way to open it. So, there, is there like a control panel? Oh, what is all this? This grime. Yeah, but this is, they say they clean it every day. Well, they clean the parking garage every day, not the trash room. This is offending my venture sensibilities. <sighs> no. No. That's impossible. Okay. Where's the control panel for the trash? It looks like the, Can't are those like little key holes you're looking at, or is it a button? I can't tell. <sighs> no. No. It's impossible. I have to find a way to open it. Okay, let's go back to the security Look into office. your heart, Caleb. You know it to be true. Security office, see if we can find the keys. Is there a control panel over here? Well, maybe you can ask the uh, attendant. Maybe he knows. Is there keys the, in here? Yeah, the one with the, with the magic doorway to Narnia. Keys in here. Well, it's nothing to do inside a safe room. Safe rooms. So hey, I've room. found things in the safe room before. Have you? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Back to him and see if there's a key. Is the key in his car? I wouldn't keep that in the car. Well, he would if he was trying to hide evidence. I don't see a dot, do you? No. It is weird that that would glow, but you can't interact with it. Same thing with a bottle. It's like, why would they highlight that if you can't fiddle with it? Just shows what he's um, touched recently. All right, so we're looking for the keys. This is bad. Yeah, it's bad. Where's the keys to the dumpster, mister? Did you want something else? Yes. Ah. How do you open the dumpsters in the garbage room? What dumpster? Oh. The dump... <laughs> Are you toying with me? No, but... The cops already looked. There's nothing there. Uh -huh. Open it. Mr. Missouri, I promise you won't find anything there. So? And I can't open it anyway. It's for staff only. Your staff. Why do you want to go through the trash anyway? Why do you think? Okay, uh. he's got... Ugh. <laughs> he's better at everything. Well, do Should rhetoric. I tell him the truth? Well... I, I only get one miss allowed. Well, I mean, we got plenty of these little blue things. How do we raise the whatever? Okay, I always forget. So Mouse up. There we go. We got plenty of points. So yeah, four. use them. No, that's still not a lot. Keep going. There we go. Let's do that. All right. It. Oh, no, it's a tie. Damn it. Oh, no, no, no. Hey. hey. <laughs> you sure you want to piss me off, Wyatt? No, no, no. Of course not, Mr. Missouri. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Listen. We're just going to forget <gasps> this conversation ever happened. And Excuse me. You didn't just try to corrupt my memories, did you? Oh, no. Uh, I I'm so sorry, Mr. Missouri. I shouldn't have. I know. 
how can I make it up to you? Open what the freaking dumpster. Slimy. Uh, intimidation. I think he's got way more intimidation than we do. Yeah. Yeah, so just dump a whole much more into rhetoric. I just see if this focus. Do another one. We got so many points. Just use them. Can we do more? Is that the highest we can go? That's the highest we can go. All right. All right. Well, we get one miss, so. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I have no idea what those dice mean. You're taking a big risk by messing with someone like me. I'm sure that's not news to you. Yes, I know, but it doesn't have to come to that. So open. I meant no disrespect. The, gu the garbage. Obviously. Obviously. So you could open this dumpster for me. Open it now. Just promise me you won't touch anything. No! Some of my stuff is in there. Please. Don't touch it. <laughs> I mean, you've already gotten the two points, so you can do whatever you want yeah, at this point. Yeah, so... I've already wasted enough time with you. I can't just open the door for you like that. You just said you I could. Really can't. Really? You've got to understand. I can't let you see what's inside. Too bad. Oh, we got to do it again? I thought oh, we already I thought we were won. allowed to do whatever. Okay. <sighs> How about psychology? No, nope, persuasion is higher, so. All right, well, waste the last of our points on this, I guess. Okay. Go ahead. But he's only got 18% focus on this yeah. one, so. Eloquent. I give you my word that I won't touch anything. That's the best I can do. You don't owe him anything. He just tried to manipulate right? you. Don't make me say it again. All right, all right. Your reputation precedes you. I can take you Why can't I just, like, snap his neck? All right. It's open. Wouldn't you rather tell me what you're hiding in there? Well, I cook a little. Oh, it's like meth or something. survive. I don't have to tell you that. I don't make a whole lot of money here. I'm not going to steal you your cook? meth, dude. Oh, a little of everything. I've got all my stuff in there. And there's some pretty rare ingredients. Uh-huh. I don't want your rare. meth. Yeah. And... Kind of illegal, too. Such as? In some recipes, well... Oh, he cooks food of with blood. blood? Oh, no, it's the um, spells that the Thin Bloods cook. That's what it is. I'm kind of curious. Whose blood? Well, it depends on what I can find. Okay, but what have you got right now, exactly? If I tell you, can it... Stay just between us? Sure. You're not fucking going to start again. I've already okay. used up all my willpower oh, points. Okay. I have all those consumables. I, I managed can get to more. obtain some of oh. Quentin King's blood. <gasps> Who's Quentin King again? Uh, he was the previous prince wow. before Hazel. But that was so long ago. Uh, do I want some of Quentin King's blood? See what happens. Where did you find King's blood? Isn't he dead? You can find anything on the black market, you know. Oh. <laughs> so you're not sure it's actually his blood? Yes, it is. I had it tested. And when I used it in one of my formulas, the effects were off the charts. It took me a week to come down. And I still don't know if it was got real. those extra superpowers that, that thin bloods get. Else. One more thing, boss. Don't call me that. I hope we'll meet again, Mr. Missouri. What was the one more thing? Oh, yeah, we got three points back. Okay. All right, so use one of your consumables and see if we can get some of our, our blue Just points. Just in case we need more of them. Uh, so I'll eat restores some... five. Oh, that's a bunch. Yeah, we got tons. Uh, increases our technology oh, yeah, rating I by one for the next interaction. So. Yeah, so just eat the coin. Nom, 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 nom. All right, I will eat my money. Put it under your tongue. Uh, use. Kiki? Nice. Jinx. All right. What'd you do with that coin there, Mr. Bazori? It was delicious. <laughs> okay, so the one that's glowing is probably the one that he has all his ingredients in, but I bet the head 
that came down the garbage chute is in one of the others. Okay, so let's first I'll look at his. Oh, they're all open. Neat. Yeah. It's like I can't open it. It's like okay, they won't. <laughs> so those are all of his ingredients. Dang. Why it's makeshift lab, and it's not meth. <laughs> I sure thought it was gonna be meth. Okay. A shoe with worn out leather. I wonder what he's cooking with that garbage. Could be anything. Them bloods are weird. Ah. Old chicken feet. Hmm. That sounds like something that... Sounds very Wiccan. Yeah. No, the voodoo guy. With oh, his, um... The... Yeah. The Tremere. Why am I blanking on his name? Musician man. Yeah, that guy. Rusty Kijan. Yeah. Because he always wears mustard yellow, so it took... I don't remember. It helped you a little bit. Ooh, what'd I take? I promised I wouldn't touch his stuff. Oh. You got... <gasps> I stole... That must be King's blood. Should I have taken it? Am I going to get in trouble? Like, is he going to... No, you're fine. What are you going to do? Who would want to take that? Empty soda cans. What about his coffee? No, nope, just the fact that he's touched a cup of coffee lately, I suppose. What else did I take? Lockpick. Hey. Like, hey, you probably not going to touch nothing. It's like, what the... You gonna I'm do a super about powerful it? Ventru. You're yeah. a Weasley little. Okay. Let's open up all the garbage. No. I'm looking for a head. Huh. Nothing. Nothing of interest. That's what the inspectors. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Stop craning your head to look inside. That's not the way these games work. It's not VR. I was looking for heads. <laughs> Nothing of interest. Ugh, oh, Venture going through all the garbage. This is so beneath me. Uh oh. I think we're gonna find the head. This is where somebody comes up behind him and knocks him into the garbage. <laughs> oh. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Woo. <laughs> you must be excited about it. Hey, I found a head. Woo. If it was a bodyguard who died in the lobby, where the hell is Moore? Good question. And they left Moore's identity and his keys on the bodyguard. Remember they said only two of the bodyguards came back? So that was one of the bodyguards then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Woo. 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 I'm so excited. Ugh. <sighs> Packaging to be recycled. I Ooh. hate recycling. <sighs> Nothing. Why can't we just throw everything in the garbage like we did back so, in the 60s when we were men? Am I not going to take that head? And What are you going to do with it? <laughs> he said the police already looked through there. Well, they're really crappy police because you found so much evidence. You found his phone, you found things with fingerprints, you well, found Well, they blood. said forensics wasn't there yet, so they couldn't really do anything, but you think they would have done something Yeah, at these due diligence dudes. Okay. Dudes diligence. But now that we have this information, what do we do with it? That's the thing. Yeah, now that we found the head. Oh, wait, check your consumables. Like, can we use that blood that we picked up, or is it just, like, evidence? It is. Huh. The vitae of elders is potent. When drunk, it gives a small glimpse of their powers. Galen feels subjugating others to his will will become easier. Okay. I mean, is that like a permanent enhancement or just like a one-time thing? Because this one says, by one for the next interaction. So if you maybe if you use that blood, it just gives us like a permanent boost to something. Is it, no, he said it only lasted a few days when he drank yeah, it, Yeah, for a thin blood. Oh. Um, your security rating for the next interaction, or is this... This is your technology rating by one for the next interaction. I don't know if I want to use it yet. I feel like... You should. I think it's going to give us like a permanent boost. Permanent? Easier forever? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Right. Oh, now it's at zero, so I guess we pick up more later. There you go. Huh? There, we're more powerful. Well, at least next time we have to subjugate somebody, then... Trade easier. game. Voice of time gone by. So I have... You're full Quentin of... Quentin King's powers now a bit. 
This is Chris's blood. My Z's. Right, so there was so I guess if like you're super, super desperate, you're like, okay, I'll eat a mouse. So now that I know it's not Moore's body, maybe I'll notice something when I go back up there. Still got to find that panic room. Why are you guys looking at other people's cars? Don't you have something actual, like, to do? Jeez. You can't even, like, feed on her? So, anything yeah. else about the sedan? Did you find anything? Found a head. So they re replicated the shot in his thigh to make it look like... I know, but who's they? Maybe M Moore wanted to get out of business with the vampires. He wanted to fake his death so he could... Ah, uh, all right, that makes sense. But if he wanted to fake his death like that, he wouldn't have made such a scene on his way out by crashing into the wall and whatever. No, that's what made it look like it was a murderer who didn't know how to drive his car. Uh, uh, that part doesn't make sense. No, if they were like, oh, if it he drove the car perfectly, it must have been him. But he didn't drive the car perfectly, so he was a murderer. I'm cool a murdiddly erdler. That's the pantry. Well, we can go at, into the kitchen from here. Yeah. It's the, um, little, um, panic room in here, right? Well, I guess this was a safe room that I used, right? Already? Uh, I think so. Okay, so if I were a panic room, where would I be? Probably not in the kitchen. Okay. Ah, it said breath. Is that a dumbwaiter? Oh no, that's where the head went. Yeah. God, he's been trying to puke for like the last hour and a half. All right. What else is there to do? Well, let's go look. Go back and look at the body again. What's that stuff on the floor? Is there anything? Looks like broken bottles. Yeah, someone broke a wine bottle. We can, we can look at that book there. That's got a doc. sure already did last time I was here, but I forget what it says. Let's see. Yeah, Thursday the 15th. Fake own death. There it is. Um, this is... Is this September? No, uh, this is August. No, no. Well, we are in yeah, a September 8th right now. So his wife was... Oh, wait. In case of an emergency, call Paravita. Oh, on the phone. Yeah, on the on mirror the phone. phone on the mirror, and that's how you get into the panic room. Sure. You dial Pura on the phone. Yeah, so we just do the alphanumerics for a Pura Vida. Visit Grandpa San Jose. Goodbye, Costa Rica. Pick up June painting class. Buy new books. Yeah, so let's go to the bathroom. So let's see if see if we're right. All right. Let's go to the bathroom. Sorry, and then guys. back to the investigation. Gotta pee, because, you know, I'm a human who pees. <laughs> That's the way out. Now, where in the heck is the bathroom? Oh, oh, I think it's upstairs. It's so yeah. dark, I like can't see anything. You think I would be able to see better as a yeah, the creature of the night. Vampire yeah. here. All right, in case of emergency, call Pura Vida. So, where is your phone? Oh, behind you. Hey, whoop. There we go. Magic mirror. So at least this has his reflection the right way. Hmm, look at this mirror. Isn't it neat? Okay, so. P. U. -R, R. A. B. I. D. A. Call. Ah, I was in the closet! Wow. Where's the closet? I think it's to your right. Panic room. This is a point of no return. Point of no return. I mean, thank God. <laughs> Do we want to like eat some more coins to get some more consumables? Uh, how many? I can't tell how many spots are empty. Like, what's our max? Ten? Yeah, we got no? Okay. Well, there we go. All right. This is it. Ah, uh, the point of no return. Okay, in the panic room. Can I pick the oh, <laughs> That's what they used to chop off his head. Oh. Jason, so 
That's where you were hiding. Oh, that guy's still alive. In where's, the chair. where's Jason? Is that who I'm talking about? I think it's this guy. Huh? What the? Good evening, Jason. Good evening. Mr. Bazori. I, oh, how did you? Maybe think about letting us know the next time you build a private bunker. Uh, it's just that I... She sent me to find you. No. Not now. She found out about everything. What's everything? I don't understand anything you just said. But get up. We're going. T tell me what everything I is first. I can't. I... Absolutely have to catch a plane tonight. To get his kidnapped daughter. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm begging you. Please. Just tell us what's going on. Just let me go. So we can't deduce. But we can use psychology. Yeah, but I... I we got like a gajillion points. This, this isn't a confrontation, so I want to ask first. Before we go, what the hell is this mess all over your place? It's not my fault. I, I tried to cover up my departure. That is your fault. I, my bodyguards wanted to take me to the prince right after the shooting at the party. But I, I couldn't. Your flight? Yeah. I wanted to buy me some time. I pretended I had to, to get some files that were at my house for the prince. Once I got here, I sent James to my office with my car. Supposedly to pick up some more files there. I kill Wu by taking him by surprise. I cut off his head and threw it down the garbage chute. I put my college class ring on him and gave him my wallet. I'm sorry, Mr. Bazori. I had no choice. You don't do things halfway, do you? Ooh, why would I care if he killed his bodyguard? All right, let's, let's psychology him. All right. Let's get more answers. Let's boost our points. One more. All right. Do it. Yeah, we're guaranteed success. I mean, it's, it's going to be that his daughter's kidnapped. That's what his problem is going to be. Okay, you've got three minutes to explain why you've got to go. I have to save my daughter. What do you mean? I know I'm screwed. We figured it out. But I have to save June. My God. Lydia. Please forgive me. I do we, care, Sam. <laughs> we know all this. I saw the picture of your wife. Those bastards. Which bastards? Slaughtered her. Because of me. Which bastards? They told me to get the files on... All of your organization's accounts. I didn't mean to betray you. I've done nothing. A few days later, I got that picture. Who contacted you? She had nothing to do with this. Shut up. Jason, stay with me. Who asked you for access to the accounts of all the Domain's members? I don't know. At first, I, I thought it was you. I mean... One of you. It could be the Hartford Chantry. Or, or the Anarchs. Mm. These are using points, but it's not telling me what kind of points. No, I just those are just conversation starters. Okay. Icebreakers, you know. Do you know what they were planning to do with our files? Not at all. But they insisted on the banking files. For all your accounts. Why? I've got no idea. I'm trying to figure out who would be interested. I... I know a lot of secrets. Yeah, I know you do. I read all the files. They asked me to wire money. I... I didn't want to, Mr. Basori. I swear, I didn't want to. But they've got June. Where's June? They've got her too. My little June. They kidnapped her three days ago. Yes, we already know but that. we must have had some of our guys keeping tabs on her. 
And nobody reported a kidnapping that I know of. So it was one of us. The principal took her to the front gate in the middle of the afternoon. And doesn't have a clue as to why she did it. Someone brainwashed That's her. That's one of your tricks. I've seen you do it before. Except that I doubt it was one of us. Because we were... It was daytime, so it had to be a thin blood. Where are you flying to? Hong Kong. Well, we can't deduce anything for crap, so... It was a deduction? What What about him being at the party would we have deduced? Um, I don't know. Because he was the one who called the code red, right? Was he? That's why they sent us here. We've wasted enough time here. Get up. Oh, I thought he was going to convince me. I'm not going to be able to go with you, Mr. Bazori. I, I lost too much blood. I'm having a hard time staying conscious. I must take you back to the prince. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm begging you. I've always refused. I, I want to stay free. Oh, I'm going to turn him into a vampire. I'm not really giving you a choice. Drink. Oh, no. Am I just healing him or am I actually turning him? That's enough. Oh, just healing him. June will die if you don't let me go. Stay behind me. Aren't I? What if he stinks me? Why am I focusing on this blood? Well, they spent a long, long time on that texture, so. Okay, I'm gonna like hypnotize my way out of here. Stay behind me. Deceive him, deceive him. Oh, deceive. Agent Smith, wait. Is that Jason Moore? You found him? Oh, Everything we gotta get to the. Fine, officer. I'll take care of him. Oh, okay. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Deceive. Erase. You got so many blood points. Use them. You've never seen us. Healed him. Oh, just enough to walk, I guess. <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> yes, master. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, well, we're gonna go down and take his car. Another one. Hey, stop! Don't move! Put your hands behind your head, damn it! I'll On the shoot. ground! I'm gonna shoot! That's enough, officer. My head. How many points do I have left? Oh, plenty. Shit. You're almost out, so you can always go to the, the bar. Oh wow! Oh, well, I mean, he, he, was, he did a good job all the way until then, you know. Minimal casualties. Why am I upset? Got blood on his suit. My suit. Oh, why is this upsetting to me? I don't know enough about my character to understand. Nope, there's still cops down here. Well, I think the two cops that were down there were the ones Stop. that did. Stop! I'm sorry. More. Oh, it's her. Needs to come with me, Mr. Bazori. We work for the same person. Nonsense. Stay out of this. I don't have a choice, sir. I have my orders. <gasps> Bitch! I'm sorry. I have my orders. Take it to the prince. You know what would have happened if I had <laughs> disobeyed? What's gonna happen anyway? 
Now we're gonna find out who you work for. She works for Beryl, doesn't she? I imagine Get so. up. We're leaving. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. Now lay down again. You're gonna be like, Jason Moore's dead again! Poor Jason. They're gonna kill June, too. I guess there was no way to get the him out of there alive. No. Oh. All right, well, that was fun. That was fun. I enjoyed that so much more than the others, but I feel like that's because we're better at the game now. I really wish I could go back and do Lacia's mission again because we missed so much in that first one we did. Well, why does it count as a... Fi I think, yeah, I don't think there's a way to save Jason more. Yeah. I don't think there was a way. Or maybe it's because I ran out of blood dots. Nah. Well, maybe if we choose the other one, it's like, all right, fine, take him. Maybe he would have done something like, ah. Yeah, maybe I would have had more blood dots to use later instead of using them all at the beginning. Meh. Like, if I had just fed on them or killed them, then I would have gotten away from those and I would have saved my blood dots for later, probably. Oh, and this is like the little achievement we just got, the ready for anything. So now we get like plus 30 to our next physical attribute. Huh. That's great. So what else and are then we can get more deductions. successes? Did we get any experience points for this? Yeah, 195. Oh, great. Now we can actually like put some dots in deduction. <laughs> Why is this game all about dots? Um, but yeah, it didn't say there were any alternatives, so. I think we did. Uh, well, I mean, we had no choice but to be super thorough because we were lost in that stupid apartment for month. It's because I was convinced we could find the panic room ahead of time. But I'm glad it took us that long to find I mean, we could it. have, yeah, but I don't think we looked at that. Yeah, because we did see that thing that said call poor Vita way before. We just Yeah, didn't. and then we would have been like, oh, okay, now we got to find his phone. Here's his phone. Oh, wait, there's no way to dial a number. What do yep. we do? Yep, yep, yep. But we cool. found the magic mirror. Yes. So, cool. I feel accomplished. But what comes up next? Prince's quarters. After reporting on the situation, M.M., Leisha, and Caleb offer the prince their services once again. So we they all have new missions? Now it's leg, leg, gel. Well, at least it's going to be faster things that happened. Ba -ba boom So are we going to see a cutscene? Okay, well, I think we should wait and find out what this is. We don't have any choices to make, but we're going to find out our choices next time. Cool. So maybe if they know if there was a way to save yeah, what's his face. If my theory is correct and we had saved our blood dots, would we have had a way to save Jason more later? Um, let me know. Is that the way you played it? Let me know. I wonder how many people out there have actually played this game as well. Raise your hand. If we had let the cop fake the fake cop lady stay instead of sending her away, would she have not been down there to do the thing she did? Was I mean, that, that would our be... fault for sending her away? That would be a really douchey thing for the game designers to do, because then it's like, no, because okay, well, I mean, if you were to be all like, okay, fine, take him, and then the game would just be all like, then that's the distraction, then he kills her and takes him with her or something. That seems like kind of a, oh, there's a, there's a term for that kind of choice, but I forgot that. But I there really that. was a choice back then, whether to let her stay looking around or whether to let her escape or to send her away, and we chose oh, to send her away. Oh, was that the ghoul? Yeah, that was the same ghoul. Oh, yeah, um, so maybe if we did... Mm. Yeah, so... We, is that what affected it? Let us know if you know the answers to these questions. Caleb's mercy came back to bite him. I feel like we have um, some replay value here, don't you? Yeah, but would you want to? Well, I'd want to do Laisha's mission again. I mean, there's a lot of this that's tedious. I sure wouldn't want to do MM's mission again in that whole, like, dream prison realm. That was not enjoyable for me. Well, I mean, now that we know how to do it, we can probably finish it in, like, you know, five minutes. Yeah. And then, like, her whole subplot with being a witch or whatever that nonsense is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Everybody have a nice holiday. Yeah, we just had some holidays, didn't we? Christmas and all the rest. No, we didn't. Oh, wait, will this be coming after, out, uh, after New Year's, I guess? No, but there were other holidays. Well, yes. There were several holidays. Yes. 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 And I hope they were nice for you. <laughs> were they nice for you, Paul? We're bad at this. <laughs> what, did, what did you get for Christmas, Paul? Uh, goodwill towards I don't know. I got I got these cool stacking. Oh, gummies and the cookie. What did I get you for Christmas? Kisses. What did I really get you for? Christmas? You got me a didgeridoo. And are you gonna learn how to play it? 
Well, I, I, I can sort of do it, but I can't make the sound very well, like with my mouth up against that. But I'll practice. Yeah, practice. And then and you I'll, can serenade our listeners. Oh, yeah. No, I can do the uh, bloodlines thing. <laughs> yes, wow, you wow, could. Wow, 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 wow. Something to look forward to, folks. <laughs> I can't wait. Good night. Goodbye. Blah. Wow, wow.